The Ukrainian conflict has taken a significant turn with U.S. President Joe Biden's decision to authorize Ukrainian forces to use weapons on Russian territory, a move deemed as a red line by the Kremlin. During his visit to France for the 80th anniversary of the Allied landing in Paris, President Biden met with Ukrainian President Zelensky to reaffirm his support for Ukraine in a bilateral meeting. The U.S. president also announced the release of an additional $225 million in aid to Ukraine. Addressing a once taboo topic, President Biden has now acknowledged the possibility of directly targeting Russian territory. This follows threats from Russian President Vladimir Putin to arm other countries capable of striking Western interests if Ukraine were allowed to attack Russia with long-range missiles. If the West supplies weapons to the zone of combat operations and calls for the use of these weapons against our territory, then why we do not have the right to do the same, to mirror these actions? This escalation is evidenced by Russia's dispatch of warships to the Caribbean, specifically to Cuba. Within 48 hours of Putin's warning, three warships and a nuclear submarine were on the way to Cuba, expected to reach the island within a week. This military deployment recalls the 1961 missile crisis, when Soviet nuclear weapons were stationed in Cuba, a close ally of Russia.